Hey there, Vixos of here on House Life. Guys, this is the Q&A. Sub 100 subscribers, thank you. I asked guys to, uh, I asked for you guys to ask me questions, and you delivered. So thank you for that. Now let's uh, start things off with the first question. All right. God damn it. <sighs> Alright, we're going off to a great start. Alright. A Doom asks, Can I cook? No, you cannot cook my dog. Okay, Aiden, you cannot cook my dog. Next question. The man 9920 asks, Are you gonna stay the night? These questions so far, woof. Alright, Firewall Studio 07 asks, Who was the good looking kid who played Hillary Clinton in the Roasting movies? Alright, one, it's Roasting, not Roasting. It's like N, and it's like a apostrophe. So, you know, you might want to check your facts right there. Um, also, uh, that was actually VGM or Alec. Um, he played all the roles in the, the both Roasting movies. Um, he played all the roles, he directed it, he wrote it, and he edited it, and he uploaded it to my channel. So he played every single character. You may be wondering how that is. That's just makeup and editing. So, yeah. That, no, no things are falling. HTTP.napalm.beach asks, why don't you like my Instagram pictures? Why do you always change your Instagram username? That, that, that's my response. Alec asks, I'm just blocking out the last name in case he doesn't want it. I don't know, he may. I don't know. Uh, he asks, why don't you ever get questions for these things? Actually, I got a lot of questions for these ones and a lot of questions in the last one, so shut up, Alec. <clears throat> he also asks, is God real? Yes, but his name isn't God. His name is actually Gaming Vic, so, you know. Greenrock44 asks, How does it feel to work with Fireball Studios? Alright, first off, Greenrock, okay. There was a 7 there, right? It's Fireball Studios 7, so you may want to remember that. But, uh, I mean, it, it's fun. We, we work on movies together, and it's a good time. The end. Um... Peter, good old Peter, he asks, how does it feel to be a baller? You know, on a serious note, it's very hard. Every day I have to wake up in the morning thinking about how everyone loves me. And I have this expectation. I'm joking. <laughs> then he says, knows me, senpai. I'm noticing you, Peter. Okay. Oz underscore legends 557 asks, when will you make any more brick films? Actually, pal, I just made a few. You can watch those. But if you're asking for when the next one's coming out, I am writing scripts. I have no idea. Okay. He also asks, have you seen the Uncanny Spider-Man yet? If so, what are your thoughts on it? That's his fan film. Um... I watched it, yes, I, uh, I enjoyed it. I thought it's your best work. Um, there was still some things wrong with it, I think. Um, like uh, fight scenes and stuff, there was some continuity errors in there. But um, overall, I did think it was your best piece of work. And um, I also thought that you were actually very good in it. So, you know, there you go. There you go. And the last question, this is kind of a short q and is... What is the most awkward story you have had that involves a girl? If that made sense. Well, guess what? It makes perfect sense. All right, um... Uh, yeah, there are probably a lot. <laughs> I 
All right, I got it. So, um, don't, don't, okay. So, my, uh, my father's, like, best friend, all right? Best friend for yours, okay? Um, he, I guess, um, had sort of, like, he was dating a woman, and, um, this woman had a daughter who was, like, two years unknown, two years younger than me. So, and I guess she liked Doctor Who as well. And I love Doctor Who. So my dad was like, I and she likes Doctor Who. I'm like, so what? <laughs> and she's like, she likes Doctor Who. And I'm like, I don't, Dad. It's, and then, uh, then it's like they're like trying to set us up. <laughs> and then like, like it's, then she's like, I get like a text from her like doing, yeah, during the summer. And it's just like, hey, it's me, um, you know, her name, uh, Ryan, I wanted to know if you wanted to go to a comic book store. This was obviously a ploy set up by my dad's best friend, and probably my dad. You know, I was like, I mean, I can't walk to the comic book store, because the comic book guys in my town, there was a comic book store, and it's actually not too far of a walk from my house, but that area <laughs> is not an area you want to go around, okay? It's like, all the thugs, rapists, murderers. It's not a place you want to walk around. It also connects into a different town that's very crime-based. Um, so, so I'm like, yeah, I can't really walk down now. Um, so what do you want to do then, like, I guess tomorrow? She was like, um, I don't know. And I was like, you just want to go to elementary school or something? Because, like, at this point, um, no way. This was like last last summer. This no 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 no. This is when I was going in eighth grade. <laughs> this was back when I was thirteen. So, alright, uh, this is when she's going into uh, middle school, and I'm like, let's go to the elementary school that because I went to the same elementary school. So um, uh, I meet her at our house. Um, then like the next day, and I'm uh. I'm on my, my scooter, um, my Hot Wheels scooter, of course, because um, I guess this, is, this isn't very embarrassing what I'm about to tell you, but I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> I was never really taught, um, and now I'm sort of, I guess, at the age where it's sort of like, I don't want to. It's not a big necessity for me, but um, uh, yeah, so I don't know how to ride a bike, so I just turned up on my scooter, and she didn't have... Like, her bike or anything with her, and I was like, okay. Um, so, um, I guess we walked to the elementary school, and we're sort of talking a bit. Conversation isn't too limited, actually. Um, so, you know, so sort of talking a bit about, um, basically, at um, uh, the elementary school that we both went to, there was like a graduation party thing, um, after when you, like, graduate in fifth grade. I went through it, she went through it, and she was talking about how lame it was. And yeah, so talking about how lame it was, I guess. Mine was actually very fun, but I guess she got screwed over or something. Um, so, you know, talking about it. Uh, uh, um, things are, I guess, going okay. And then, um, uh, I have no idea if she thinks it's a date or something. I don't know. But, um, you know, I didn't want to be a date, personally. Because at this point... I didn't like any girls, really, but I wasn't really, like, I guess, wanting to be in a relationship. And, uh, not really with this woman. I didn't really think of her like that. Well, not woman. She was 11, and I was 13, but, you know, I wasn't really looking for a relationship. I'm not sure if that's what she was thinking. I don't know. But we get to the actual, I guess, the park, park at the school. Go on the swings for a bit. We're sort of talking. Conversation's sort of going a bit limited. It's gained a, at this point. It's gained the things like I like your shirt. Oh, um, thanks. Yeah, Captain America is my favorite superhero. Yeah, uh, th thank you. Yeah, he's pretty cool. So on the swings for a bit. Then she's like, um, I'm feeling pretty dehydrated. So I I don't know. I don't really feel well. So I'm gonna go. And I was like, okay. Now. I actually looked into it, um, at first I was like, she's a ditch. I, you know, 
she's ditching me, but I kind of want it to happen because it was painfully awkward. <laughs> but, um, uh, but like that time I was like, there was a water fountain over there. But I guess I found out later that it doesn't exactly work like that. Um, you can drink, but it's, I guess, has more effects. I don't know. But, um, she leaves. And I'm just like, okay, well, there's no point in me staying here. And, um, so it's like, I'm going to go home, but it's like, oh, she's going that way. So it'd be kind of awkward if then be like, I'm following her. So I have to sort of wait for like 10 minutes. Then I'm like, okay, I can start walking. And I go home. <laughs> That's my awkward story. I don't want to consider it a date because I don't think it was. But I have no idea if she was thinking of it like that. Um, I don't know, but I think it was definitely set up. Yeah, there you go. So, I believe that's the end of this Q&A. Most of this video was mainly me talking about women. <laughs> um, that's cool, I guess. Um, I think it's so many serious questions, but whatever. You know, that's cool, like, let's count how many. Two, one, two, two. Three, four. The rest of them were sort of chore questions from my friends. But, um, that's cool. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for 100 subscribers. Thank you for asking questions. But that's all. Goodbye.